Multiple attacks have erupted in Paris tonight with reports of at least 35 dead and dozens more held hostage. Gunmen killed dozens at a Cambodian restaurant and at a concert hall where they also took the hostages. And there were at least two explosions near a soccer stadium as President Francois Hollande attended a match. Police raced to respond to France's worst explosions of violence in decades, and survivors told of narrow escapes, including a British woman who told French TV of the restaurant attack. I was having a meal with my friend who was sitting right at the window when there was numerous gun gunshots directed at the window towards the restaurant that we were eating in. Um, we immediately dropped to the floor with all the other diners, um, and we were there for maybe one, one minute, lying on the floor, um, as we continued to hear numerous gunshots. Later, another shooting was reported at a Paris shopping mall, and President Francois Hollande announced he is deploying the military around the city and closing the borders of France. In Washington, U.S. officials said they are monitoring, but there appears to be no credible threat against the United States. And President Obama came into the White House briefing room to speak about the attacks. Once again, we've seen an outrageous attempt to terrorize innocent civilians. This is an attack not just on Paris, it's an attack not just on the people of France, uh, but this is an attack on all of humanity and the universal values that we share. Uh, we stand prepared and ready to provide whatever assistance that the government and the people of France need to respond. For more on the attacks right now, we turn to reporter Kate Moody of France 24 Television. She is in Paris. Kate Moody, what is the very latest you know? Well, the latest is that we've heard from the French president, as you said, declaring a national state of emergency, announcing that he was going to be closing the borders of the country in an effort to protect France. He's described this as a series of coordinated, unprecedented terror attacks, which he believes have left several dozen people dead. Local French media, though, is putting that death toll even higher. BFM TV has said, according to their count, there are already at least 60 dead. And as you've been reporting, there is still a hostage situation unfolding, uh, so that could go even higher. Kate Moody, where is the hostage situation uh, taking place? That's at the Bataclan Theater. It's a music venue where there's actually been an American group performing this evening. It's a group called the Eagles of Death Metal. Uh, they were performing at this location in the 11th arrondissement of Paris. Uh, it's a theater that can fit up to about 1,500 people. So a lot of people packed into this area. Um, we understand that, uh, that at least two or three gunmen entered the, entered the, the concert area, uh, fired several warning shots, and then a few downwards in one direction. Some people have managed to get out of that area, but the situation is still unfolding. Police are on the highest level of alert surrounding that area. Kate Moody, staying with you, uh, we Americans are familiar with what happened in Paris during the Charlie Hebdo, the attacks on the newspaper uh, in Paris some months ago last year. How would you compare what's going on, what seems to be unfolding now to that? Well, the entire city of Paris was really changed, very much affected by those Charlie Hebdo shootings that you were referring to. Uh, Twenty people who were killed in that series of attacks, a three-day terror alert across the country uh, back in January. And the city hasn't really ch has really changed since then. We've seen huge police presence. Uh, outside major tourist locations, outside schools, outside religious areas. Uh, and, and the city hasn't really gotten back to the way it was before, since before that. So I think people are very much, people, people certainly remember those attacks uh, and, and everything that we're seeing from this evening so far seems to indicate that this series of apparently very coordinated and very deadly attacks has, has already become much more deadly than those attacks that changed Paris a few months ago. The city still has yet to recover from that, and people are really reeling, tr truly in shock at this latest development. Fair to say that security was already high before what happened tonight? Exactly. It, it had this level of security across Paris and across the country really, has been raised uh, since those January attacks. Um, there was no uh, uh, there was no apparent uh, threat towards the city this, this, on this Friday. There was no 
particularly high level of alert today, but in general, over the past few months, the level of alert has certainly been raised. Police have, and the military have been deployed throughout the city uh, for months, really. There's just a much more heavy security presence, something that might be familiar to people in the United States, but that certainly was not the case here in France before the Charlie Hebdo attacks this January. Reporter Kate Moody with France 24 Television uh, reporting on the latest on what is an unfolding and continuing violent situation in Paris. Hostages being held and dozens reported dead. <laughs> On passe en voiture, on peut aller sur tout le monde. Il y a des morts. Oui, il y a des morts. Plein de morts. Une fusillade. S'il vous plaît Oh, je Allez, on circule, Allez. Je viens S'il vous plaît, circulez Personne dans les rues, monsieur, je vous l'ai déjà dit, s'il vous plaît, faites-le. Oui, mais je comprends, monsieur, mais je vous demande de pas Allez-y. Oui, oui, non, mais très bien, mais c'est pas nécessaire. Thank you. 